Hello again, a new day here, the same old project. So it's been a while since I start experimenting with this very cheap CPF 5189Z. So this, this video, it's from April 8, 2022, and it was about having a mood to this uh, little guy here. And you know, so far is the best one, you know, I experimented a lot of uh, other amplifiers, but this one gives the best results. So I'll show you the numbers a little bit later. What have I done? Instead of this capacitor here, I add a so filter, 868 megahertz. Oh no, not here, sorry, not here. So here we have the capacitor. Uh, at the input, we have the so filter. You know the so filter. Why it's called so? Because inside, you know, the the internal um, physical way, it's looking something like this, like a comb or few combs interlacing. So we have one pin and another pin in and out. That's the way the things are running here. You know? Of course, certain dimensions and certain materials gives this resonant stuff on 868 megahertz i have to clear this in the same time because you see the things are not touching each other so we have a gap we have the electric in between fingers in between these lines it's also acting like a capacitor because i've been asked if it doesn't hurt the circuit the input and this is valuable to any other kind of amplifiers, even those A, B, air bodies, and the filter itself, it acts like a isolator between input and output. So somehow I may say it's uh, acting like a capacitor. Okay, let's go further. So I have the, okay, this is not here. We have a capacitor here. So like, I don't know, maybe 100 pico to one nano, something like this. What I have done also to protect this guy, having two diodes, even three. Okay, that's looking like this, the schematic, you know, and here apply the plus. You know, this diodes not only protect the reverse polarity, they are also limiting the current, also taking down the voltage with around one volt. And this is really nice. Because I found this amplifier, even the fake ones, they are working properly around 3.5 volts with around 125 milliamps. If you just let it run with 5 volts, you know, from a USB port or from an external power supply, then uh, somehow it's overcharging. 135, 140 milliamps, it's getting hot and uh, it's just burning after a while. But if we limit the current with these values, it lasts forever. The next step in uh, developing this uh, project is to replace CPF5189Z with PG103+. Better amplifier, exactly the same pins. I bet I can find this original stuff with good technical characteristics. That's the way it's looking. I know this is just an experimenting uh, PCB, so that's why it's pretty ugly. Here you can see very clear the soap filter. If you feel like, you can have a capacitor here in between the soap filter, but I tell you that is no need for another capacitor. This is a capacitor or acting as a capacitor. Okay, now let's go to numbers and thank you Robert, for uh, letting me know this. You see guys, these are the first three days without amplifier. Just the simple antenna on, I think it was, a, I'm not sure if, yeah, it's a Bobcat uh, minor. Of course, uh, the network is very unpredictable and uh, it behaves strange and, but it's a very clear, 073, 026, 0095. Uh, Robert, it's uh, located in Bucharest and uh, crowded helium miners area. But look here, 
7300260094. And from here, another three days with the amplifier on. Guys, we can see very clear. 011, 01390123. Just let me have the best numbers. 0139 divided by 94. It's like 47% uh, gain in signal and uh, results. And not only, but look here 26 witnessed, 24 witnessed, 25. And look here 34, 44 even 50 and uh, thank you Robert again okay and that's not the single report I got about this I have uh, plenty of this amplifier modded and uh, uh, spread it all around and I have only good feedback about uh, how these things are working once again very very uh, very important is to have this number down. Don't let it run on 5 volts. Have these diodes, even 3 diodes doesn't hurt. This is an LED, a kind of pilot lamp. You know, it's very easy to do that. Okay, thank you guys. I hope it's useful. Please like, please subscribe. And uh, I'll be happy to answer your question. Don't hesitate to ask me. And uh, of course, <laughs> don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>